Hi, welcome to Legoland. Come through. Professor Voltage has a new invention. I've asked you all to come here to see my latest invention. I'm delighted to present to you my... Oh, oh dear. Time machine! It'll never work! Never work indeed! I'll show you! my time machine and use this duplicate array, we can fix the park in no time! I hope this all works out. Welcome to Legoland! Where do I put in my resignation papers? Right now. Alright, this episode I have quite a bit to talk about. Anyway, hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Last time, we crash landed on Novalis and I ended up fanboying out over all the voice actors. Anyway, let's head over to the city area to see what we can do. Now, there's no other collectibles that we can get, and we cannot get the skill point for this world. The skill point for this, well, one of the skill points that's in this world is called Take Aim. We cannot get it. Basically, we have to destroy one of the ships that are flying around right there. Whoa, that was close. We can't get that yet because we don't have a weapon that will reach it, and we won't get that weapon until later, to be quite honest. There's boxes back here, and they must be destroyed by my hand, or in this case, by my wrench. So pretty much we're done with Novalis for right now. And I say for right now because we are going to return here for that last gold bolt. And that's really going to be the only reason I come back. And then while I'm here to get that gold bolt, I will go and get the... Whatever it's called. I don't even remember. Now, nope. Kill these things. Ow. How dare you. That'll teach you. Yes. Whenever the bolts fall in water where you're not supposed to go in, it will always come back to you. So no worries. Okay, whoop. Right, and I love the comet strike. Yeah, apparently it's called a comet strike according to the wiki. If the wiki's to be believed. Then again, in this case, when it comes to games, the wikis usually are correct about certain things. Right. Nope. Oh, fine, you're going that way. I'm going this way. Even though there really isn't anything over here. Might as well just use the bomb glove. I don't really use it that much. Now, one thing that I wish... Like, that they really improved on in the second game... Was that weapons can upgrade. The weapons do not upgrade in the first Ratchet and Clank game, unfortunately. They just stay the same the entire time. Now, as you can see right here... We can't go this way. If we were to go that way, I believe that is where the other gold bolt is located, so unfortunately, we cannot do it. I want to see if I can grab it. I guess not. But I better get back onto the shore before I get pulled all the way back into the beginning again. Nope. Jump, Ratchet. Good, Ratchet. Good. Good, kitty. Oh, I love... Ratchet is what is known as a Lombax. Lombaxes really aren't explained. They don't really say that he's a Lombax until, I think, really the second game? And even then, they don't really say it. Okay, I cannot tell if I dropped frames or anything. It, I, my HTPVR has been acting up as of late. And I think it also has something to do with my computer. And again, I've been using it so much. You were very selective about what you destroyed, my friend. Why not just destroy the whole bridge? Probably would have saved you some time. Right? You... Nope, nope. There we go. Now we can fall down right here and we can go and get those boxes. Is it right below me? Yes, it is. Boxes! Boxes. Gotta love them boxes and these bolts. Sorry. So much money. You know, I just realized I could have gone to a Gadgetron vendor and actually, you know purchased a new weapon by chance. Oh well, I'm sort of saving up my money for something we're going to get. There is a trophy in this game for getting one million bolts. And there is something in this game that costs one million bolts. It is a godsend, 
and a staple in the Ratchet and Clank series that's in every one of the games except for Deadlock, actually. And I'm not going to spoil what it is, and don't say what it's going to be either. Please don't. Now, I said I had stuff to talk about in this. Um, for one thing, I'm going to be talking about the PlayStation 4 in this one. Uh, nothing's been revealed about the PlayStation 4 as of yet, but mainly this is because I feel I need to talk about this. I missed boxes. Uh, I feel like I need to talk about this because I can see this being a problem. And the other one is going to be just about certain other things. Now, when it comes with the PlayStation 4, one of the hugest features that was toted, especially on the controller, is the share button, where you can share with your friends what it is you are doing at the moment and everything. It's a pretty cool feature, yes, not really useful in my case. But one of the other main features is that you can record the gameplay and then upload it to YouTube. Now, as somebody who does Let's Plays, that sounds like, oh, that'd be something perfect. Oh, great. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Oh, what are you? Mercenaries? Torturers? Assassins? I I'll tell you anything. Here, take my infobot. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quark, and believe me, there's nothing worse than staring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? Ah. You said it, pal. So if you're fighting crime, or just fighting grime, <laughs> come to Al's RoboShack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Al's RoboShack, it's quarktastic. Hmm. Do you know what this means? Yeah, Captain Quark is really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. If we had a ship. <laughs> what? Uh, a, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Thank now you, Mr. Have chairman. To two new planets. You can use your ship. Press the select button to bring it to map. Your ship is marked with a star. Yep. So, as you can see, this is what the full map looks like. And we have all that. We have two coordinates where we can go to. We're going to go, actually, in the actual guides and everything, it will tell you to go to planet Iridia first. We're actually going to go to Metropolis on Kerwan first, because Metropolis will give us some things that we can use. But back on to my thing about the PlayStation 4. Now, the recording feature sounds like it'd be a great thing for me. However, it hasn't been revealed how much we'll be able to I'll be able to edit that footage, retrieve it, and edit it. And it uploads it directly to YouTube. This is where it can get into a huge trouble when it comes with copyright stuff. Let's actually see, can we buy a gun? Yes, we can. We can buy the... Flame... We can buy the Pyrocitor. So, we're gonna buy that. And it doesn't give us full ammo. That kind of sucks. Congratulations! We can now reenact the Pyro. But... This is where a huge amount of copyright issues can become a problem because YouTube's copyright system is completely broken. It's an they say on their thing we have a team that goes through and sees if copyright is actually like if this is being copyrighted or anything. That's not true. It's a machine that does. A machine that cannot differentiate between reviews, personal content, video game, let's plays and a bunch of different things. It's just a machine that automatically scans it and slaps it on. That's what it is doing during the processing phase. It's just scanning to see if there's copywritten material on it. Nothing more, nothing less. That's what the processing really is. And as you can see, the problem will be is people will start to upload 
these raw footages of them playing their games onto YouTube using the PS4 and I think the Xbox One, I believe it also has something similar like this, onto YouTube. This will get to be a huge problem when it comes with copyright because of YouTube's broken system. Want an example of the broken system? Take, for example, the Orchard Music that filed the claim against me. Not only that, they just filed another claim against me in another one of my videos. Another one of my videos that was actually the Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix video I did about Kingdom Hearts. Final Mix HD. They filed a claim, the same one as last time, saying I used copywritten music. And they filed the claim on the part of the video that had no music on it. So you can see why I mean that the system is broken. And with people uploading these videos that it's now torted by Sony, because, oh, it's going to be fun, you can share your videos with everyone on YouTube. The problem is, unless YouTube itself changes its system and actually does it to where it's not as broken as it is, then this is going to be a huge problem that we have with this share function. And instead of becoming something that's great for everyone, it's going to become nothing but a nuisance. It's going to become a nuisance that's going to get people in trouble with YouTube and everything. Now right here, we're going to need another weapon actually to deal with this because the flamethrower won't do it. So let's actually go back and go the other way so we can get some other things. Now, on this planet, there are three gold bolts that we can get. I believe that we can get them all. I could be wrong. But, starting off, we actually need to go through the Gadgetron vendor right here. And we're going to buy the Blaster. And now we are out of money. The Blaster is pretty self-explanatory. And then here is this little guy. This is going to be interesting. Welcome to the Captain Quark Fitness Course. If you're strong enough, fast enough, and clever enough to beat my fitness challenge, you will receive a reward from my head trainer. Simply make your way to the third island to complete the course. Good luck. Quark Enterprises is not responsible for sprains, broken bones, snapped tendons, bruised egos, or accidental death incurred while taking the challenge. <laughs> I love... Excuse me, Captain, but we have more pressing issues. We urgently need your assistance. Clank? Yes? Do you notice anything unusual about Captain Quark? Well, I find the fact that he has a spring where his leg should be to be quite puzzling. And why do you think that is? Possibly an injury incurred while battling evil? This isn't the real Captain Quark, you numbskull. It's a robot. Oh. Well, that's nice. So first things first, we're going to get a skill point. What's the skill point? We have to destroy the robot. There is a way that you can do it, but it's not letting me. This might not be the right one we destroy. But who is it that voices Captain Quark? It is Jim Ward, of all people. Jim Ward, if you don't know who he is. Jim Ward, well, for one, Jim Ward has played Captain Quark through all of the Ratchet & Clank games. Him, along with David Kay, are two of the voice actors that have actually stayed the same through the Ratchet and Clank series. The only one who's really changed is Ratchet. And that was in between this game to where they changed his voice actor to James Arnold Taylor, actually. And Captain Quark's voice actor is better known in some of his roles in... Uh, for one, he was Solari in the new Tomb Raider game, actually. I haven't played that game. He was Benjamin Franklin in Assassin's Creed 3. He played the male pedestrians in the infamous games. Oh, that's fun. He has other ones. I'm trying to remember which one it was, to be quite honest. Which one? I don't remember which one it was. It was a huge role that I just remember. Hmm. I guess that's just me. All right, so just grabbing these bolts because we're kind of poor now. And that is kind of my fault. But, so that's my whole thing when switching topics back to the whole PS4 thing. How I could see this share button looks good on paper, but with the system to where they're uploading it to, I could see it being nothing but problems for everyone and just being more of a hassle and causing just it not to be really fun. Okay, gotta wait. 
Waiting, waiting, waiting. I still wish that I remember which Jim Ward role I'm trying to remember. God dang it, I should know Jim Ward's roles really well, to be quite honest. Ugh. These moving walls also function as jump slides. Jump and jump again to kick off the walls in midair until you reach. I, oh, oh, God, oh, Jesus! Ah, crud. Sorry, I was kind of deep lost in thought because I'm trying to think of other role for Jim Ward. I think he was in Ben. I think he's in Ben. Was in Ben 10, to be quite honest. I think I remember seeing his name in the credits. Put it in the description. What I'm probably trying to think of, it was... He was in a Pixar movie. I don't know which one he was in, though. Right. It's actually kind of annoying me now. As, as you can see, I kind of like following the voice actor thing. And I kind of ended up not paying attention when trying to think about things for Jim Ward. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was really close. Right. So, let us... That was close. I almost fell off again. Right. See, this is what I like about the Ratchet and Clank games, is the fact that they are platformers just with gun gameplay. That's all they are, and that's what I love. But, yes, I know. Now, I think that there's... I'm trying to remember all the skill points for Kerwan. Hmm. Right, and... Ooh, who's this lady? Listen up, you lard balls! That was the most pathetic display I have ever seen on that obstacle course! What do you mean? We finished the circuit, ma'am. Oh, yeah, but it was weak. Weak, weak! When I was competing, I would devour courses like that for breakfast! <laughs> Bet that's not all. If it were up to me, you would drill, drill, drill for the rest of the day! But somehow you managed to impress that fool Captain Quark. What? Captain Quark knows about us? He certainly does. And worst of all, he wants me to give you a prize for that ridiculous performance. Cool, what is it? I'm supposed to give you a swing shot so you can sway to and fro like little insects. All right, let's see it. Not so fast. Today, the two of you disgraced my obstacle course, so I am going to make you pay! What? But that prize is ours from the captain. That's not fair. Too bad. Life's not fair. You suck! And we need 1,000 bolts to buy the swing shot. Yeah, this is where I knew this was going to be a problem with the bolts. Uh, so we're going to have to come back here for that. I shouldn't have bought the blaster, but I kind of wanted to. Anyway, who voices Quark's trainer? Her name is Helga. She wasn't given a name in the first Ratchet & Clank game. She appears in Ratchet & Clank 3, and she is named Helga. So that's how we know who she is. Now, there should be... This is the only Quark bot, so we do have to destroy it. I just don't think it has hitting animation, so I'm going to hit at this for a while. All right, I found out we can't destroy the Quark bot yet. We don't have a strong enough weapon. I was thinking that we needed something, but unfortunately... We don't have a strong enough weapon. Anyway, you notice those crates right there that are glowing. The, those are the TNT crates in this game. So, yeah. We need to get a bit more. What we need to do is... I'm looking for something because apparently... Hmm. Science! Science! I'm doing some science right here. I was told that there was a gold bolt here, but I think I was lied to. Wait. Tunnel? Ah, tunnel. There's the gold bolt. I was not lied to. Perfect. All right. So here is the first gold bolt. All right. We can actually get all of the gold bolts in this one but we still need one piece of equipment to which we're gonna have to buy things that's the hard part about the ratchet and clank games is money always becomes a problem and you never have enough of it that's always the case with the ratchet and clank games well i think now is a perfect time for me to go into what the second thing i was going to talk about but first if you actually go into first person mode you can throw your wrench if you actually throw it at the cars you get bolts. 
You get bolts for committing murder. That's all this is. This is just murder. Wow, I have a perfect timing for this. You don't get much, though. This is actually kind of fun. Okay. So, now onto my second thing. This has to be... This is something that I've been noticing a lot lately when going around a lot on the internet. And that's when it's talking about The Last of Us and how people want it to be ported over and everything. And I have to say this. Like, they're saying, oh, why is it that Sony's doing that? They're just... They bought out... The, I saw some people saying, oh, they bought out the rights so then they don't have to port it over and everything. Do people seem to forget that Naughty Dog is a first party developer for Sony? As in the all Naughty Dog games are first party games. Just like how all Mario games are first party games for the Nintendo systems. It's first party games. They're not going to be they're not going to be really you know released on other systems now it would be nice for some people yes but it's not going to happen unfortunately and then the other thing that I've been seeing people say is why is they're releasing it so much so much now when the PS4 is going to be coming out soon and the PS3 is going to be useless the PS4 doesn't have backwards compatibility remember and also, that's something I have a huge gripe with. I kind of wish they had backwards compatibility. But in this case, this PlayStation system is actually completely and utterly different than all the other PlayStation models have ever been. But that doesn't mean that the place... Just because a new console out is out doesn't mean the old one doesn't get games developed for it anymore and it just instantly dropped. Look at the PS2. The PS2 barely... Sony barely stopped making PlayStation 2, like, brand new PlayStation 2 consoles early in January of this year. PlayStation 2 was the number one selling console of all time. A console has life after a new console has been released. Albeit, how long it lasts depends on the actual developers and the publishers themselves. And it also... Oh, you little jerk. And it also depends on really... Ow. Oh, I'm going to die if I'm not careful. Um, and it really depends on the game company themselves, but a console still has life after it. So, especially in the case with the PS3, the PS3, I can see them selling for a very long time, actually. Just like how I'm close to dying. I don't like that. Uh, let's use the, let's use our lovely little flamethrower, because we've yet to use that. And I died. I should have seen that coming. Ah, oh, great. So let's activate the Gadgetron vendor and we'll have to buy ammo again. We can purchase right now what we need from Helga, which is actually a good idea. But we're going to return there after we get another upgrade. Mainly because we need that upgrade in order to get the rest of the gold bolts, actually. Since we can get all the gold bolts right now. Uh, the flamethrower is not that good. I remember me not really using it that much. Now I remember. There is one world where it's pretty dang good, I have to say. Yeah. No, I was trying to imitate the pyro. I realized I shouldn't do that to the mic. Um, oh, look, the helicopter didn't come back. Might as well just stick with the bomb glove, because the bomb glove seems to be the best one. I love the bomb glove. It's great. Nope, nope, nope. Drop this. Hi. No, you. You. You killed me last time. Ah. Okay, that seemed kind of cruel even for me. Nope. Bad dog. Hi there. You killed me last time. Time to die, buddy. Right. And now I need you to die. I said I need you to die. You're not dead. Now you are. And Ratchet, that's the man we saw hey, look. in the infobot. Remember? He knows Captain Quark. Hey, you're that robot guy, right? No, actually I build robots. I myself am not a robot guy per se. <laughs> Nerd. I like him. <laughs> So, now that we've cleared that up, what can I do for you? Well, we saw your Infobot announcement. You were with Captain Quark. We're trying to find Captain Quark. 
We thought you could help us. Your logic is commendable. However, I haven't seen Captain Quark since we shot that commercial. Say, do you run on standard XP-18 sister boards? Version 7.66. Back at ya. I may be able to help you out after all. How does a helipack upgrade sound? Upgrade? Natch, since he's a 766, I could have the little guy up and flying in no time. Of course, uh, I'll just need my fee for service. How much is the fee? 1,000 bolts? Perfect! Okay, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, wait. Ratchet, am I cool now? <laughs> yeah, you the man, Clank. You're welcome. Thank you, Al! So yes, we now have the helipack. Simply use the helipack, crouch down, and jump, and you'll get an extra long jump right there. You can also do a leap forward by running hitting the crouch button, and then pushing the X button. Now what we need to do right now is actually get up to the roof right there. I don't know if we can effectively. Yeah. If you hold the X, you can actually X button, you can glide. We need to get up to the roof there because there's another skill point we can get. This right here is a hop. Yes, I just said that. So as you can see, we have a lot more reach now. We need to get to the other side right there. Right, there we go. And let us go up this way. And there should be another gold bolt around here, actually. If I'm remembering correctly. So let us... Okay, it looks like we're going to have to glide down over that way. Always explore around once you get the helipack. Well, this episode's getting a bit longer than I thought. Okay, that's because that's the actual way we have to go. There is. Try using the glide feature of your new Jump. Uh, we're not high enough though for that one. We're gonna have to glide. wait for that to come back down. Oh, I almost fell down again. There is a way for us to do this. All right, so let us go over this way. Hello, people. Time to die. I love how I'm just nonchalantly throwing bombs. All right. And let us find... There you are. Hi there. Ow. Nope. Bye-bye. There we go. All right. So we're going to need to get over there, and we need to get onto that roof to where Big Al's shop was because there's a way we can get a skill point. And I want to at least get... I want to get at least another skill point in this. This episode hasn't really been that productive, I find. Nope. Right. Ah, oh, great. This guy again. Destroy those things, because it spawns more dogs. I wish there was a way for us to collect- Oh, God, bombs. Bombs be bad for Roxas. Right, I think we're high enough. Yeah, we're more than high enough. Right, so let us fly over to Big Isle's shop. Ever so slowly. Ever so slowly. Slow and steady wins the race. This is boring. Right? And you just earned a skill point. Stand underneath the crotch of the robot. Why not? Alright. And there we go. Strike a pose. But, anyway guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This is Renoxus 1359. Sorry this episode wasn't too enthusiastic, really. I felt like I should have gone in a bit more detail, but it's kind of hard to come up with some of like, the more interesting commentary when it's on like certain aspects of things, when it's not post-commentary, because I have to focus on gameplay. So, I'll see you guys next time. Your things up, Legoland Newsflash. Rosie has just invented a new flavor of ice cream for the park. It's called Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. That does not sound appealing in the slightest. I mean, and this is coming from a person who just had homemade pizza. Eh. Anyone brave enough to try it gets a free glass of Bricola Cola to wash away the taste. Well, that is very accurate to how I feel about this new thing. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. 
Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough. Funky Chunky Pizza Dough.